Silver Day at 5 on ABC7. Previously on General Hospital. Oh, God. You still don't think she needs to go to a hospital? My car's out front. Bowman walked. Oh, what? damn it. He also got a restraining order against me. How could he do that? Can this be real? I promise you, tomorrow, both of our lives are going to be completely different. You'd do or say anything to make me stay, wouldn't you? For Catherine. You were the one who put her in that wheelchair. And now you want me to feel guilty. I won't attempt to come near you or influence you in any way. There it is, sweetheart, in an excruciating nutshell. My next move. As always, any questions or comments are welcome. Are you having second thoughts? Why do you ask? I don't know. It's just something in your voice. Well, uh, about Stefan, no, no second thoughts. Not even a sliver of doubt. But about Bobby, I don't know, you know? But until I reshuffle the deck, this is the only card I've got to play with her, especially after what went down with Tony. Well, then you've got to play it. Yeah, I know. I'd sure rather be there, sitting on some help. Yodeling. <laughs> yeah, well, yodeling won't be the first thing we do when we finally see each other again. Oh, you sweet talker. I can live with that. Yeah. Luke, just remember that you are doing this for Bobby and that you love her and you know her better than anybody else in the world. So trust your instincts. Right. No second thoughts, no doubts. All systems go. Dr. Alvaroff, I'm Dr. Alvaroff, I'm Audrey's uh, stable. She's still not out of the woods, so. We can't lose her, Tony. Not after losing Steve. She's, she's too much a part of GH, part of whatever's right and real with the world. I know. A lot of people feel that way. But then again, I'm thinking about myself and my world. That's pretty selfish, huh? You no, know, how could you not feel strongly about it, though? Because you love her. And your life's been shaken up lately. A lot of it because of me. And Carly. And Stefan. And Luke and Laura and G.H. closing and all the scandals and lawsuits. And it's been rough. <laughs> I would argue with that. Then why do we insist on making it harder on ourselves and Lucas? I mean, he can't sort out what's right or wrong here. He's just going to hurt like a kid when their parents fight. I mean, I've made lots of mistakes. I've made more than my share, but I can admit it. I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? That I can't? No, no, I... I... Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Oh, just about. I've noticed that uh, you're very far behind in your physical therapy reports for Catherine Bell. Sorry. I promise I'll get them to you right away. Well, I know how busy you've been lately. But you shouldn't let your personal life interfere with the well-being of a patient. I think I've helped Catherine. It's just the paperwork. It won't happen again. Oh, I know it won't. So what's this? When you came by the other night to get your stuff, um, you forgot these. It's that tie that I got you for Christmas and uh, the little cufflinks and... I didn't forget them. I have a consultation. Are you ill, Ruby? I need you to come over right away. It's important. <laughs> well, couldn't you just... Thanks, Ruby. I owe you, big time. So let's review what we've already covered. GH is dealing with the aftermath of a hostage situation resulting in one arrest, one death, and one beloved pillar of the medical community wounded and illegally operated on, and still in critical condition. While a hotshot young surgeon who recently initiated and won a sexual harassment lawsuit against the head of cardiology, winds up in jail on drug charges, is later released and files a restraining order against the son of that same noted heart surgeon, 
who also happens to be the chief of staff's wife. Have I left anything out? I hope not. So, can you handle it? Yes. I'm getting pretty good at putting a positive spin on even the most hopeless of situations. Even turning them to my advantage at times. Oh. Good morning, Nicholas. <clears throat> Am I interrupting something? No, no, not at all. Catherine and I were working. What brings you here? I work here, remember? Yes, I remember. I checked your PT schedule and you're doing the gym in a few minutes. I thought I would go with you, but if you still got work to do, I'll... No, no, no. Uh, we're finished for now. I meant what I said. It isn't hopeless. Well, you have my full support to do what you do best. Let me know what you come up with. Are you ready? Yes. Goodbye. General Hospital, brought to you by Neutrogena. Visibly reduce the signs of sun damage with Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Years ago, no one knew that most wrinkles are caused by sun damage. But now you can visibly reduce the signs of sun damage with new Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. It not only moisturizes your skin, but it actually contains retinol and multivitamins to work deep within the skin surface. Visibly reducing the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, and age spots. Your skin looks firmer, younger, healthier. Visibly reduce the signs of sun damage. New Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. To be or not to be? You don't see this every day. That's the question. But you do see Wendy's 99 cent super value menu every day with our Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with two strips of bacon. And it's always 99 cents. Whether it is noble. Clear. That satiny smooth feeling. It's yours with Gillette Sensor Excel for Women. Feel its unique handle and non-slip rubber grip. How the protective microfins cushion your skin. Sensor Excel for women. Hold on to the feeling. It's my worst nightmare, only it's real. Heartburn surging up to here, what my doctor calls acid reflux. When I get it, I don't use the usual things. They aren't for acid reflux. My doctor says I need Gaviscon. Only Gaviscon forms a protective barrier that helps keep stomach acid down where it belongs. My Lantacant, Pepsid AC can't. Only Gaviscon can. Wipe out the worst way to wake up. Get Gaviscon. It's different from here all the way to here. Kmart welcomes you to the Grand Canyon to present the Charmin Triple Roll. So, how long is it? Kmart knows it's three times longer than a single roll. Three times longer. It's longer than a double roll. No other bath tissue lasts longer and is so soft. So get on over to Kmart. Get grand savings and all your favorite brands every day. That's the Kmart way where you'll find Charmin Triple Roll. Introducing Best Foods Fat-Free Salad Dressing. Now the salad. Nobody makes homemade dressing like Mom. Just like I thought. I didn't make it. Best Foods made the dressing. No one makes it like Mama. Oh, no, I didn't make it. Delicious. Best Foods made the dressing. Here's to Mama. I didn't make it. Now Best Foods adds four new fat-free dressings, all with a fresh taste of homemade. Lincoln, Best Foods made the dressing. You sold your recipe to Best Foods? We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be rich! New Best Foods, the freshest tasting salad dressing you never made. ABC Thursday.
take their word for it. High incident. Then, it's the show that will make you believe in miracles. We just felt that everything was going to be all right. Share these amazing stories with Robert Urich. Vital Signs, ABC Thursday. Friday, 18-year-old Amy Grossberg accused with her boyfriend of murdering their infant son. Now, for the first time, Amy and her distraught parents speak out. 2020, Friday. Oh, we're going on a trip, aren't we? Okay. Uh, I think you really ought to get out of my face, because I've already gotten one restraining order today, and I can easily get another one. Oh, get the girlfriend to swear to something else. I don't think so. Sit down. Sit down. You've done enough damage for one day. As a matter of fact, you've done enough damage for a lifetime, <clears throat> even a short one. Like sticking that needle in my neck, hiring that nurse to help you. As a matter of fact, where'd you stash the body, anyway? Pretty neat job for an amateur. But see, the thing is, uh, with amateurs, eventually they screw up, like using me as a victim. That was an error in judgment because, see, you usually pick on kids who can't fight back or women who are too dumb and too needy to know better when they're being used. But see, me, I'm an old hand at fighting back. I'm used to taking care of scum like you. So if I were you, I'd think twice about that uh, travel arrangement you made. Because I don't think it's safe to leave the premises. Of course, you know, I, I do understand that, what, what you call it, wonderlust? A yen for fresh air and new horizons? You want, you really want to go go and see if you can get that, that, that heroin you stashed. Where, where, where was that, anyway? I've already told the cops that I don't know anything about any heroin. They're looking at the wrong guy. Oh, right. <laughs> wrong, wrong guy, yeah. It, it, it was probably just that one time when you, when you, uh, gave Emily's pal, you know, some of that stuff. But you're a friend of the family. You needed to share, 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 right? Hmm. You've been speaking with Monica. Apparently, no one has informed you of the fact that she's stark raving mad. Oh, you think so? W w were you going to, to tie me up and, and give me a lobotomy also? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did that? Yeah. I like Monica, you know. But see, I don't, I don't, I'm not in the mood for lobotomy. But I know a couple of guys who love to give it a shot. As a matter of fact, I already told them about you. So, <clears throat> a word to the wise. Mm -hmm. You ignore my friendly warnings and leave this apartment. Don't blame me if you don't get where you're going. We are not helpless, Monica. We have each other. And we're gonna help Emily. If you would have killed Dorman, you'd be in jail now, and he would have won. No, he has won, damn it. I mean, look at him and look at us. He can walk away from this devastation, and he can laugh about it. I really wish I had killed him. Then he wouldn't be able to hurt anybody else, and we'd have that satisfaction. Hi, guys. Hi. How's she doing? No change. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in. I'll try again. Okay. Just make sure you don't slip and let her know Dorm is out of jail.
I know, sweetheart. You don't have anything to apologize for. For all our sakes, Alan, do not let Dorman come near me or Emily again. I won't. Hey, Emily. How you doing, kid? Hey, I was thinking that maybe you and I could have a little breakfast. What do you say? And I'm not talking about that healthy plastic garbage they serve in here. I'm talking about donuts. I snuggled these past the nurses. Huh? I got the, I got chocolate. I got the ones with the little sprinkles and the, the jelly inside. What do you say? Okay, well, maybe later. Emily, I know what it's like to think that you've done or you've, you've said something to hurt the people that you love, but that's not what you did. What you did do was just write your own private thoughts in your own personal journal, and a lot of people do that. I know you were just trying to figure out some really tough things in a way that it wouldn't hurt you and it wouldn't hurt anybody else, and there's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Emily, nobody had a right to read anything that you wrote except for you. And stealing your diary, it, it was a violation. It's worse than being robbed. You're not the bad guy here, kiddo. Dorman is. It's okay, shh, it's okay. It's okay, he's not here. And if I can help it, nobody is ever going to hurt you again. I don't want to push. But if you need me, I'll be here. I'll come running. You know how fast I run. To Dr. Rogers. Okay, I'm gonna go in and see Emily then. You wanna come back in? Um, I'll be in a second. Right. Dr. Martin, please call me. Dr. Larson, please call me. Hey. Hey. You look like you could probably use a friend. What's the matter? Where do I start? Where do you want to start? How about if I start with you telling me what it can do for you? I can see something's wrong, AJ. What do you need? <clears throat> A drink. Trusting the wrong diarrhea medicine uh -oh. can put you in a very uncomfortable position. But you can count on Imodium AD to stop diarrhea, often in one dose. You could end up taking dose after dose after dose of the pink stuff to stop diarrhea as effectively as Imodium AD. Mm. Don't take chances with diarrhea. You should have taken Imodium AD. Take Imodium AD. I'm sorry. One dose relief you can count on. Julianne's best friend... Hey, Jules, we gotta talk. ...is about to pop the question... I called because I met someone... ...to someone else. Well... We're getting married. TriStar Pictures presents... I can't lose him. ...Julia Roberts... I've got moves you've never seen. ...in a story about finding your heart... He's just so wonderful. ...and losing your head. Michael! That's our maid of honor. ...by Best Friends Wedding. She's from New York. Oh. Rated PG-13. Opens everywhere June 20th. Time and the sun can make your skin look older. Now your skin can look newer again. Fight back with new time off revitalizer from Almay. Take time off the look of your skin with a dermatologist approach. Time off's patented multi-hydroxy solution helps speed visibly newer skin to the surface. You'll see fewer fine lines. Skin that looks fresher, more radiant, newer. Fight back. Take time off the look of your skin. For skin that looks newer again, get time off revitalizer. Hey, sweetie, want to try something different? Sweet dream, baby. Sweet dream, baby. Sweet 
Honey, honey, dream. Should we buy a bottle? Oh, yeah. New A1 Sweet and Tangy. The sizzle starts here. To be a man in my country, I must fight a bull. Yet I cannot fight a tiger. Brave adults confront their uncontrollable desire for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Sure, I could wander to other cereals. But I get all the shame and embarrassment I need right here. Those sweet flakes in a bowl of milk. Is it any wonder it's the cat's meow? Once our six-year-old grandson walked in on us. He said all the slurping woke him up. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! Only strong hair can survive style after style. So I use Pantene Pro-V Mousse. Styling was ruining my hair, but Pantene Pro-V Mousse actually helps keep it strong. The exclusive pro-vitamin formula penetrates, improving your hair so you get the strength you need to create the style you want, the volume you want, with Pantene Pro-V Mousse from the complete Pro-V Styling Collection. Your hair so healthy it shines. It's a stronger sense of style. You can spend a lifetime looking for the safe and tender, but a second of trouble can throw it all away. Lucy, Kevin, and Scotty in Port Charles. Weekdays on ABC Daytime. How far will you go to get more? No, you don't. <sighs> yes, I do. No, I mean, AJ, you don't, as in you can't. Carly, my little sister's in there, and she's not sure she still wants to be a member of the human race. Because she blames herself for everything bad that's happened in my family. And the thing about it is, she's got absolutely nothing to do with any of it. I just... I just need something to take the edge off. I have a PT appointment soon. Look, why don't you walk me to the gym, and I could try to take that edge off with my witty conversation, and if that doesn't work, you can always kick out a few walls over there. <laughs> Come on. All right, deal. Yeah. Uh, oh. And there's something I've always been meaning to ask you. What's that? What is your favorite color? You gotta be kidding me. No, I'm serious. Humor me. Blue? I don't know. Blue? That's yeah. interesting. Why? I don't know. I never really thought about it. Hey. How is she? Uh, same. Your mother... <clears throat> uh, Monica's gone to find Dr. Rogers. You know, I don't even remember if I said this to you before, but even if I did, it bears repeating. I owe you more than I can say for your concern over Monica and tracking her to that motel room and stopping her from doing God knows what. There is no big deal. I know that makes you uncomfortable, this kind of thing. I won't belabor it. So, do you have any idea what Dorman is? No. Not firsthand ever since he got that restraining order against me. Taggart, his cops, and Sonny are on his tail around the clock. Why does that make me feel less than comfortable? He's fooled us all before. He won't anymore. Oh, Jason, I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> I'm sure that Monica's filled you in. She's totally unresponsive. Yes. I'd like to examine her more closely, run some simple tests in my office. What aren't you telling us? Dr. Rogers feels that there isn't any change soon. We're going to have to consider other options. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate that. Yes, it is always very difficult to lose someone that you care about. But when you're so far away, it... Yes, just, just let me say that I really appreciate you arranging everything so quickly. Your, your kindness will, will not go unnoticed. I'll keep you in my prayers. I thought your meeting with Catherine would take longer. Well, she had a physical therapy appointment. Nicholas stopped by to escort her. So is he better? Well, he still has very little to say to me, but at least he's not leaving. Was that a possibility? Yes, it was. When he found out I shot Catherine. Ruby? Look, where's Ruby? Is she all right? She called. Ruby's fine. I don't believe this. Ruby, shame on you. 
I'd do anything to keep the two of you in the same ballpark. Oh, well, you know, I'm leaving. Hey, Barbara, please don't do that. Please. I swear, if you listen to me one last time, you'll never have to listen again. I swear. Mm. Please. Mm. New Buffalo Crispy Strips from KFC or boneless all-white meat chicken. But will they fly in Buffalo, home of Buffalo wings? Very good. All right. Not bad. The Colonel, he must have been born in Buffalo. Now try this Buffalo Crispy Strip meal, just $2.99. A proper gentleman eats one cookie at a time. But these aren't cookies. They're mutants. Well, we can't be proper all the time, now can we? A cookie is just a cookie, but fat-free Newtons are fruit and cake. Even down to its stainless steel exhaust system, a Pontiac Grand Am is built to be driven quite hard. Which may explain why it's driven quite often. Grand Am, built for kicks, built for keeps. Hey, it's Uniglobe Cruise Festival. Call your local Uniglobe travel agent and ask about our Captain's Choice specials. Limited time offers on many of the world's best cruise lines. Call Uniglobe Travel now. It's a little pill to fight gas. It's fast. It's concentrated. It's powerful. It's a soft gel with no taste. Try extra strength Gas X soft gels for great tasting chewable tablets. Hey, bubblegum blowers. Now the flavor of extra classic bubblegum lasts longer than ever. So you can enjoy blowing lots of extra bubbles. Try extra classic bubblegum. Why? Now the flavor you love lasts longer than ever. General Hospital will continue in a moment here on ABC. The cast of Touched by an Angel, next Oprah. There is a reason the freshest fruits and vegetables end up at Ralph's. Ralph's Quality Assurance Team. Seven days a week, they work harder, searching for produce that's perfect, making sure that at Ralph's, extra fancy really is. And if something doesn't meet Ralph's higher standards, they'll be the first to send it back. Produce that's first in freshness. It's why we're the only supermarket with a double your money back guarantee. And it's why more people are getting their produce at Ralph's. It's parallel park, pull even with car. Nervous? Duh. It's only my driving test. Tell you what, you pass, we'll go get a sourdough jack to celebrate. Have you tried the sourdough jack? Big jumbo patty with melted cheese and bacon stacked on warm, golden, crunchy sourdough bread. My treat. But you gotta pass. Like there's not enough pressure on me already! Stop messing with my mind! I'm gonna have to mark off for that. You know what dirty pots and pans call for. But what about dirty dishes? They're calling for the SOS Scrubber Sponge with a unique shape, thicker sponge, and an SOS Tough Scrubber. Now every kind of mess calls for SOS. Today on Eyewitness News at 4, 5, and 6, a disgruntled employee goes on a shooting rampage, killing one and seriously wounding five others. The latest on the story. And thousands of followers turn out as the Dalai Lama arrives in the Southland, his message to the world. Plus, the first space-age lifeboat, how astronauts will use it at the space station. Then, the hot new filmmaker who maxed out his plastic to hijack Hollywood. Today on Eyewitness News at 4, 5, and 6 on ABC7. So, what did you want to be when you grew up? Wow. Um, I wanted to be a patient. I've never heard that before. Um, both my parents are doctors, and I remember when I was a little kid, they were always racing out to take care of their patients. So it seemed like a good thing to be. Oh, that's so sweet, AJ. Well, why'd you change your mind? Who said it changed? <laughs> wow. Um, it worked. Yeah, it, it's gone. The, the urge. No. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's still there. It's still there lurking underneath somewhere, but it's not all that's there. Your methods are not traditional, but they work very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not always. Things, uh, things aren't any better with Tony, are they? I've dumped enough on you. Hey, AJ. hey, hey. I'll tell you when you've dumped enough on me. Tony, uh, moved out last night. Justice, uh, you here to see Emily? Well, they told me she was in stable condition. 
Is she okay? It's, uh, it's not good. Well, uh, I have some business to, uh, wrap up, and then I'll stop by and say hello. I need to speak with you, alone. Uh, I have a, a PT appointment. Well, it'll just have to wait. Hey, Jay? Okay, yeah. I know what you did. And I'm considering having you brought up on charges. Well, Carly's late. It's new. Uh, we can start with Oliver. I know most of the exercises and routines. I'd rather discuss what just happened with your uncle. I think it's pretty obvious, Catherine. I'd like to hear it from your uncle. All right. He disgusts me. The only reason I'm still here in Port Charles is you. He didn't hesitate for a minute to try and use you to get me to stay, Catherine. He's lucky I'm willing to be in the same room with him. The way you're behaving, I think that you should consider yourself lucky that he hasn't thrown you out on your adolescent bratty butt. Okay, okay. So what, what is about this time? Lucas, Tony, my marriage? Make it snappy. A stupid Fabergé egg that Stefan cracked my skull to get his clammy paws on. Don't you think it's curious? That, I mean, that he would get so freaked out over a gaudy ornamental bauble. Well, you know, it is a family treasure. It has great sentimental value. And Nicholas just gave it away. To the enemy. I know. A Cassidine treasure in the hands of the enemy. The worst part is the head of the household knew nothing about it. And the enemy had the damn thing long enough for an ignorant slob like me to figure out its secret. Secret? Luke, what are you talking about? Barbara, the egg opens. Inside is a computer chip that is sort of like a virus, for lack of a more precise word. It's designed to override security access codes and gain entry into mainframe computer systems. Now, I don't think we have to guess what he's going to do with that, do we? Ah, uh, a computer virus in a Fabergé egg. Okay, well, you know, Luke, you've come up with some real tall stories in your time, but this is good. This is really one of your best. I gotta go. Freezing the world sounded like a tall story, Barbara, but you were here wearing snowshoes in July. All right. If Stefan did have something that important, why would he make it so easy to get to? It wasn't easy. I had to get help from a friend at the WSB. But once we... Whoa, 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 okay. So that's the part I'm a little fuzzy on. All right, look. Uh, one day I'm sitting around, I'm tossing that damn thing up and down like a baseball, and I'm thinking real strong about pitching it against the nearest wall. I guess I was peeved. And I noticed these three notches in the base that happened to be just the right size to stick in one of those little cheesy medallions that they all wear. So that's how I found out how it opened. Now, once I found the computer chip, we copied it. And then we made Stefan think that he had the original when he whacked me over the head and ran down that mountain path in Switzerland. And it, it, you, do you think I would make this up? Yeah. Well, okay, yeah, I would, but I, I wouldn't have proof. Mm, okay, so is this where you pull out a microchip and you tell me it's a copy of the one that's going to run the world? If I trusted you, I could, Barbara, because I have the copy. Something is going to go down, and it's going to have to do with computer shutdown, maybe even a global computer shutdown. Why? Why would Stefan do this? Give me a motive. Give me a reason. Besides the sheer power, think of the possibilities. He can hold entire nations hostage. We could be talking worldwide computer terrorism. Yeah. Well, okay. I gotta go. All right, just leave your mind open, okay? I mean, you know, proof doesn't always lay itself out in neat little rows. Sometimes you have to connect the dots yourself. Yeah, then stop trying to do it for me. You make me so crazy. You know, the only reason that you're still with Stefan is hurt feelings and, and stubborn pride. That's it, Barbara. 
And now you're going to try and put up this front of a perfect American family so some judge somewhere will, will, will keep you on top in the Lucas sweepstakes? And what are you going to win, huh? Maybe the kid can grow up in the big lie like Nicholas. Hold it, okay? Trust me, you do not want to tangle with me when it comes to those custody papers. Now, if you think you've got this all figured out and if you think you really do know why I'm sticking by my husband, then why are you telling me this? How do you know I'm not going to go running to him? Good question. I got a really good answer, too. You want to hear it? Training can be easier than you think with pull-ups training pants. They make kids want to train as no diaper can. There's just as much protection as a diaper, but the big kid designs look like real underwear. Your child feels like a big kid in pull-ups, and that's the best motivation there is. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Try the easy way to use Downy, the Downy ball. Just toss it in. Easy does it, only Downy does it. The spin cycle opens it, then Downy flows into the rinse. You're gonna love it. The Downy ball. Come on in. The study of the human body has yielded yet another important discovery. The pain millions of people suffer is caused by the way they walk. Their feet are hitting the ground off balance, starting a chain reaction that can pull everything up through their lower back painfully out of alignment. Now there's new Dynastep inserts from Dr. Scholl's. Dynastep cradles and supports your foot so it hits the ground evenly, providing clinically proven pain relief. Discover truly effective pain relief. Discover new Dynastep. Life is complicated. Makeup shouldn't be. Life's complex enough. Thank you, world. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Simple. Don't wear makeup that looks like makeup. And don't let it take more than five minutes. That's CoverGirl. You're fresh, you're new, and you're out of there. A fresh idea, fresh face to the world. Easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. The Quilted Northern Quilters. First day? Yes, I'm really nervous. Don't worry, doll. Just keep quilting. Because that's what makes Quilted Northern so absorbent. Absorbent? I thought it was quilted to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's quilted to create thousands of quilted places for moisture to go. Not like those flat as a pancake sheets made down the street. All that absorbency leaves you feeling clean. Nice job, dear. Thanks. Quilted Northern. Quilted to absorb. Can you guess which bait kills roaches in 24 hours? <laughs> to kill roaches in 24 hours, it's Hotshot Maxitrax. <laughs> Maxitrax, it's the no-weight roach bait. Tonight, how about no pain and only gain? A simple and delicious way to protect your kids from disease. On ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Tonight, it's not science fiction. Transplanting animal parts to humans. For some, their last chance. I know that if I don't risk my life, it's over. But could it unleash new danger? It's perhaps the most ideal method of transmitting a new virus into the human population. Vara Sawyer, Turning Point, ABC Tonight. The point is, the situation is under control. It's not ideal, but it's controlled. Define controlled. Nicholas is not leaving for parts unknown. He's staying here to lend his support to Catherine. And who's to say his support doesn't include giving her assailant up to the police? He wouldn't. Of course, he's angry now. That's understandable. But he'll... He'll come around eventually. Don't you think? Oh, you don't want to know what I think. Let's talk about business. As you know, I am a very neat, very organized person, and loose ends, dangling threads, they make me very, very uneasy. So I suggest that we drop the dry runs on guinea pigs like Felicia, and if you want to get serious, do it. Now, this intern terrorist who took the hostages, he was able to pull it off because he infected the GH computer. So if you want to introduce your virus into the hospital mainframe, you might as well do it now. You're very astute, Alexis. You've just described my intentions precisely.
played you wrong from the beginning. You never should have played me at all. Barbara, I know now. When I came to tell you that we were going to fake Laura's death, you beat me to the punch by telling me you'd married Stefan, and I went into a tailspin. I'm sorry. I didn't trust your judgment. I... Well, now look where we are. Sure, you can go home and you can blab to Count Vlad that big bad Bubba's got his secret bug. But I bet you he uses it anyway. It's too late to abandon his plans at this stage. Barbara, this is his chance, you see. This is his chance to get back at all the wrongs done to him. All those imagined crimes against his family that he thinks people like me have committed. This is his version of the big freeze, baby sister. I think it's going to be a big anticlimax for you when nothing happens. Something will happen. I already hung up my tights and my cape, you know. I'm not interested in saving the world. I already did that. And guess what? The world didn't change. It won't. But my family is in that world. And I have to protect them. And like it or not, my family includes Ruby and you and Lucas. Uh, I have to go. An emergency at the hospital. Barbara. Do what you think is right. Jerry Maguire on video cassette. She lit you in her house. Jerry! Looks like you've got a fan. Yeah. You know this is gonna change everything. I promise. I've got this great guy. And he loves my kid. You complete me. Tom Cruise, Academy Award winner Cuba Gooding Jr., Renee Zellweger, Jerry Maguire, buy it today. A short refresher course for your skin. Start with a cleanser that feels this refreshing. Noxzema. When you feel the deep, clean tingle, you know you'll notice a healthy difference. Feel the healthy tingle of Noxzema. As the youngest girl in my family, I grew up with a lot of hand-me-downs. Bernadette Spears, hand-me-down expert. I swore when I had kids, there wouldn't be any tired looking hand-me-downs. My youngest clothes would look as good as my oldest. For me, using a good detergent makes a real big difference. I thought for easier loads, it wouldn't hurt to use a cheaper one. But sometimes, those clothes look older faster. Tide gets out many tough stains better than leading low price brands, and it helps clean away the fuzz that can make cotton clothes look old before their time. Hand-me-downs look good enough to go through all three kids. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. I think they're kind of cute. I'll keep them for a while. To get a fresh mountain spring scent in your clothes, you could add mountain snow, wildflowers, or spring water to your wash. Or just wash them in new mountain spring tide. The same great cleaning, now with a fresh mountain spring scent. Try new mountain spring tide. Look for it along with regular tide. Nice watch. Now at Burger King, the Lost World Jurassic Park watches. Collect all four, each just $1.99 when you buy any value meal. Is that a Stegosaurus? I don't think so. Want to see something totally breakthrough? Breakthrough to Hydrians, the first water-based cream color from Clairol. Who knew that water could deliver color like this? Clairol Hydrians uses the power of water, so it deeply saturates every strand with radiant, moisture-rich color. That won't wash away. Taking permanent color to a superior level of gentleness. I never knew it could be so gentle. It actually feels healthier. Breakthrough to an incredible kind of color. First there was hair color, now there's Hydrians.
Know what you get with ordinary bottles? Bent or straight, same problem, bubbles. With the Playtex Nurser, there are less bubbles. You can see the difference, so there's less gas, less spitting up. In fact, nearly two out of three baby doctors recommend disposables for healthier feeding. The Playtex Nurser system. Next to the breast, it's the best. Introducing new Playtex disposable drop-ins. They make putting a bottle together as easy as one, two, three. New Playtex drop-ins. Great, huh? Tomorrow, the most unforgettable Carol and Marilyn ever. First, daring stunts that push the human body to its limits. To watch that is something. Then, a master hypnotist with an unusual suggestion. You can't remember the number eight. What's four and four? The amazing mysteries of the mind and body on the next Carol and Marilyn. Tomorrow on ABC Daytime. Have you seen your friends lately? Someday, they knew their daughter needed help. We're sending her to a place called Meadowbrook. But what they didn't know could kill her. You're gonna be just fine. 902 on Jenny Garth is being held without consent Sunday. You knowingly entered my office with the intent to commit a crime. That's burglary in the third degree, and it carries a sentence of up to seven years. Does Tony know that you are threatening me? This doesn't have anything to do with Tony. And you better understand right now that I'm not making idle threats just to scare you. I am outraged. Oh, so Bobby put you up to this, huh? She never misses a chance to humiliate me. Well, that's great. She must be glowing. Bobby doesn't know anything about this. Carly, this is not the first time I've dealt with a triangle like this. I suspected you from the beginning, and I went to Tony, and he tactfully confirmed my suspicion. What has this done to any of you, really? I am the one who could lose everything, Justice. My job, my home, everything. Justice, look, since I'm indirectly responsible for pointing the finger at Carly, I gotta come over... You know I... about this? Well, I... Yeah, she, she told me what she did and why. You defending her behavior? No, no, I'm not. But I think I understand why she did it. I'm gonna ask for a family favor. Please, just, uh, just back off. When did you become Carly Roberts' champion? She's a friend. Well, maybe some jail time will help strengthen your friend's character. I don't... I don't get this. This is not like you. Look, nobody's denying that she did something really stupid. But she did it out of love for Tony. I mean, come on, she's broken up over the fallout. AJ, maybe she's broken up because she got caught. Justice, you're a good man. But come on, even you've had to make mistakes before. I mean, isn't there anything that you've ever done that you regret? Anything maybe you'd like to take back? I'm not sure if you know this, but there's a picture of a sweet little girl in that locket that you're holding. And I have every faith that she's going to grow up to be as smart and as pretty as you are. But that's the thing about growing up. It's a process. You're in transit. You uh, haven't reached your destination yet. And while you're heading there, you're uh, busy figuring things out, exploring new directions, making mistakes. And sometimes you even get lost in the woods. When that happens, you need an experienced hand to lead you out. If that ever happens to Brooklyn, I know that you would be the best person for the job. I love you, Emily. And I can't wait to hear you tell me that you love me back. Because I need you. What kind of options are we talking about here? 
I sincerely hope it's not some little clinic out in the country. But for what it's worth, you guys send her away somewhere, we're gonna lose her for good. Speaking of the devil, anything new about Dorman? Why did they arrest him if they couldn't hold him? Well, they held him as long as they could, but nobody could figure out where he hid his stash of heroin. So what, he just walks now? No. no. I have to make a call. to the whole story. Did she believe you? She tried her damnedest not to, but something... something's got to ring a bell and all that. Even if she does go and tell Stefan, you know, I'm banking on that he's gonna feel squeezed to use the virus anyway. And then she's gonna get smacked with the truth on one end or the other. So will Nicholas. He's a tough kid, Laura. Don't worry about him. What we need to focus on right now is what's next for us. I agree. This is the perfect time to implant and engage the virus. Fine. As for Nicholas, he may rebel a bit to prove his independence. But he will not turn his back on me. Or the family. I can't believe you're taking his side after what he did to you. And I can't believe you're turning on him after everything he's done for you. It's for him. All of it. Without him, it would have no meaning. Your uncle fought to give you an amazing legacy when he could have grabbed it for himself. And what, I'm supposed to be uh, grateful, obedient? No one asked me if this amazing legacy is something I want. What if Nicholas doesn't want the keys to this precious kingdom, and you're pushing it on him only makes him more angry and more rebellious, and then he'll retaliate by telling everything he knows about Catherine's shooting. Now, that is not impossible. And I do know how much he loves you, but how can you be so sure that he's gonna do what you want him to do? I have to believe in him. In his strength. His loyalty. If I'm wrong, then none of it matters anyway. Have you ever told your uncle you don't want it? For all your protests, you're perfectly willing to let Stefan devote his life to you. And you certainly have enjoyed the perks of being the Cassidyne heir, haven't you? It was before I knew who he really is, Catherine, and what he's capable of, but none of that means anything now. You don't mean that, Stefan. Oh, yes, I do. I fought Helena for that boy's soul from the day he was born. If I hadn't done it, nobody else would have. He would have been hers, he would have been lost. I have never for one moment regretted it or resented him. He is the heir. He is the future I have given up everything to secure. I was ready to leave for good. Go somewhere, anywhere where I could be anonymous. But you stayed here because of me. Out of pity. No, no, Catherine, of course not. I hate my uncle for what he did to you on our island and, and for what he did to me in Switzerland. They were both accidents. He was aiming at a tree. I walked into his sights. How do you know everything he's done since isn't just to keep you quiet? For a while, I suspected that. But I got over it. The man that you're describing could have suffocated me in my sleep. He could have pushed my wheelchair down the stairs. At the, the very least, he could, have, he could have threatened retaliation if I gave him away. Instead, he did everything he could to help me walk again. That sounds pretty darn ruthless to me. I guess I'm just not as generous and forgiving as you are. I knew you and liked you before he did. You don't really know me. You have this idealized vision of this person that you want me to be. I'm not a saint, Nicholas. And I'm sure that there are plenty of upstanding citizens and poor Charles that would say that I got exactly what I deserve. Yes, I have given up Catherine and more. But I don't intend to dwell on it. Now what? I will transfer the virus to a disk 
activate it through my laptop. It will travel to the General Hospital mainframe and infect the entire system. You know what? All of a sudden, I'm uh, feeling a little nervous. Well, I'd be surprised if you weren't. Why don't you uh, take a little break, get some fresh air, meet me back here in 30 minutes? Uh, I'll do that. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. <laughs> Jenny would never turn down a new pair. Teens and shoes. Are you kidding? Bob, on the other hand, will never admit he needs anything. He's a man. What is it with men anyway? Now all women's, men's, and kids' $9.99 shoes are just $8.99. Two pairs, $7.99 each. Three pairs, $6.99 each. The Pay Less Shoe Source. Buy more, pay less sale. You think there's anything to this women in shoes thing? Pure myth. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Every night when you put her to bed, you know she has a long night ahead of her. The last thing you want waking her up is clammy skin. That's why there's Pampers Baby Dry. Its special Baby Dry layer absorbs faster than the leading regular diaper. And Pampers helps your baby skin feel dry, even in the morning. Hospitals know dry skin is important to skin health. And 81% of them use Pampers. Make them happy. Keep them dry. Pampers Baby Dry. Pollen. Ragweed. Dust. They're back. And they're heading straight for your eyes. Time to turn on the AC. Visine AC. It's specially formulated to clear and decongest your eyes. No eye drop relieves the irritation from pollen, ragweed, and dust faster, giving you 100% of the relief you need. So don't suffer with irritated eyes this pollen season. Just turn on the AC. Visine AC. And turn on the relief. In Italy, our favorite pasta is barilla. What makes it number one? Hey. Dente. Si, al dente. But what is al dente? It's pasta that comes out perfectly every time. Firm yet tender. E pasta barilla. E al dente. So while other pastas can clump and stick together, barilla cooks up with every strand separate and flowing. Al dente barilla. Now you know. Al dente is what makes pasta barilla... Perfecta. Perfect. Barilla pasta, number one in Italy, imported to America. Al dente is why. Very, very good. Duracell. Energizer. For years, you you've talk. heard the Energizer. debate, which battery lasts longer? Energizer. Recent tests prove Energizer. that one Duracell. alkaline brand does outlast the other. Duracell. Better make it Duracell. Sure, I want to kill bacteria, but for my money, I want more. Check out New Joy Antibacterial. It kills germs on hands and cuts tough grease using 50% less than this stuff. Joy Antibacterial. Gives me more for less. Tomorrow on General Hospital. Uh, Will somebody find out what the hell's going on here? I'm getting nothing. Tony. I need to explain to the staff what's being done. Wait. You listen to me, you little halfwit. I am not here. Do you understand? Tomorrow on GMA, it's Friday in the Park with classic country from Alabama and Silver Charms trainer Bob Baffert. Join Joan London and Charles Gibson as the weekend starts with Good Morning America. Today on Eyewitness News at 4. Hercules, the making of a hero, Saturday at 7.30 on ABC7. Previously on General Hospital. For all our sakes, Helen, do not let Dorman come near me or Emily again. I won't. I hate my uncle for what he did to you. Maybe he isn't as terrible as you want to believe. The egg opens. Inside is a computer chip that is sort of like a virus. Something is going to go down. Even a global computer shutdown. I will transfer the virus to the General Hospital mainframe and infect the entire system. Tony? I just got paid yeah. for an emergency. It was me. It's about Audrey. Yeah. There's been some more bleeding, so we're going to have to go back in. And since I couldn't use my first pick of assistance uh, last night, I, I thought that maybe I'd take another shot at it. Plus, it would 
maybe help you get over that feeling of helplessness that you had. And uh, I've got to get prepped right now. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Just the person I was looking for. Look, Justice, do whatever you have to do, okay? But please don't involve Tony. He didn't do anything. Well, I've decided not to press formal charges. Are you serious? Yeah. But between you and me, I'm not through with this. What does that mean? Well, I don't know right now. But you can consider yourself a very lucky lady. I do. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank A.J. He argued your case. I lied to you... about that day in Justice's office. You're good, you know that, don't you? When I mean, you're very good. You had me going. I mean, I'm not so easy to fool. I'm sorry, A.J. I mean, you don't deserve to be treated like that. You have been a friend to me 